and we'll get right into it. So let's start in a seated position in the center of your space. And I have my mat slanted, so just know that I'm gonna be rotating my facing as much as I have to, just so that you can see um, my full body. And then remember that I'm not mirroring you, so when I say right, you do the right, even though it shows differently on your screen. So cross one leg in front of the other, and then just notice what leg is on top and see if you can cross the opposite one on top. This usually means that that is your less dominant uh, leg, which is again totally fine. We're just trying to break some habits. And then we're going to set the palms facing up towards the sky. And today we're just going to tune into our breath. So start to close off your eyes and soften the shoulders away from your ears. And you're going to really root the sit bones into your space, into your mat, into the earth and start to pull the navel in towards the spine. Ah, and just arriving into your space and taking a moment to ask yourself how it is that you're feeling today and how it is that you would like to feel at the end of these 45 minutes of mindful movement. Remember that the breath is the most important part of class. So when you find yourself resisting and trying to hold on, trying to hold on to control, just let it go. A deep breath in through the nose and an open mouth exhale. <sighs> we'll do just one more like that. Deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, ha. <sighs> and start to seal your lips. Start to engage into your ujjayi pranayama, so that's the victorious breath of yoga. Inhalation, in through the nose, and exhalation, out through the nose. Constriction at the back of the throat, an oceanic sound. Anytime you find yourself retaining heat, know that an open mouth exhale will be there for you. I'll be here for two more, seal the intention. release control and invite self-expression, power, courage into the practice. One more big breath in, let it out, exhale. Slowly blink the eyes open if you close them, reach the arms up towards the sky, take a full breath in. Exhale releases the right arm by the side and pull the left one up and over, feel that lateral side stretch. Take a full breath in, exhale, reach further towards the right. One more breath. Exhale, reach further to the right. Use the obliques to pull you back into center. Full breath in. Exhale, release this left arm by the side and pull the right arm up and over towards the left. Good. Breathing into the right side of the body. Soften the shoulders. Set that scapula in place. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Just one more. Inhale. Exhale, reach further towards the left. Come back into center. Breathe in. Exhale, left hand on top of your right knee, and then just a gentle twist to the right. You can use the right arm as your kickstand, or you can take a full bind if that's a part of the practice. Take a full breath in, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. See if you can bring your chin towards your right shoulder. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale, back into center. Reach the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, release. Right arm on top of your left knee, and then use the left arm as a kickstand. Really inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, reach around, twist. If you'd like to take that extra bind, that is an option. Remember, it's just an option. It's a suggestion. If it feels good, great. And if not, take another variation. One last breath in. Exhale, open, twist. Come back into center. Allow the palms to touch above your head. As you exhale, you're going to bring them in through heart center, and then you're going to walk them forward towards the front of your space. Tent your finger pads, so you're creating sort of like a spider-looking thing with your hand. Inhale, half lift, gaze forward. Exhale, breath, send the chest through, surrender the forehead down. Just one more like that. Inhale, gaze forward, flat back. Exhale, walk the hands further forward, breathe into your back, hold here, one breath in, exhale out, slowly walk the hands back up, bring the shoulders stacking on top of the hips, you're going to release the arms behind your low back, you're going to interlace, bring the 
the knuckles onto the ground, onto the mat behind you, and then open the chest, look up. You can even splay the ribs open, which will be the only time that I say that. Take a full breath in. Exhale, keep opening into your heart. Last breath here. Exhale out. And then slowly release the bind. You're going to bring both hands on top of your knees. And we're going to take seated cat cows. Take an inhale breath. Puff up the chest. Inhale, look up. Exhale, breath. Tuck the chin in towards the chest. Hollow the belly and protract the scapulas. Inhale, open up the chest. And exhale, press back. Just one more time like that. Inhale, open into your heart. Open into your throat. Into your third eye. And then exhale, chin in towards the chest. Hollow that belly. Good. Come back into center. Shoulders on top of your hips. And then you're going to extend your legs into a uh, baddha konasana, so butterfly pose. Soles of the feet to touch, butterfly the knees open. You're gonna bring the hands onto your ankles. You're gonna inhale, gaze forward, maybe even look up. Exhale, breath, walk your hands forward. Surrender into the moment. Take a full breath in, flat back. Exhale, keep walking forward. From here, you're gonna walk your hands towards the right side of this space, breathing into the left side of your body. Inhale. Surrender, exhale, last full breath, inhale, see if you can walk further towards the right, and then exhale, surrender, nice and slow, stay low, walk it through center, you're going to bring the hands towards the left side of your space, half lift, gaze forward, exhale, reach, 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 surrender, last full breath here. Keep those scapulas in place. Exhale all the way out. Slowly walk the hands back through center. Stay low. And then tuck the chin in towards the chest and start to roll up. Take your time. There's absolutely no rush. Roll over your knees and start to plant your hands into the center of your space. Neutral tabletop position. Uh, wrists right underneath your shoulders. Hips right over the knees. Take a full breath in here. And stay for the exhalation. Pull the belly in. Breath in. Exhale. Every time you inhale, you're trying to create space. Every time you exhale, you're constricting the throat. You're pulling the navel back in, holding the core nice and tight. From here, balancing tabletop. You're just going to extend right leg long behind you and left arm forward. Take a breath in. Exhale, stay here. Two more breaths. Exhale out. Hollow that belly. One breath in. Lift the right leg higher. Exhale out. Slowly release both limbs towards the ground. Same thing, other side. Left leg extends behind you. Right arm forward. Take a full breath in. Exhale out. Stay right there. Big breath in. Reach forward and back. Exhale out. See if you can point your left foot, lift the leg a little bit higher, pull the belly in, ribs are soft, and then exhale, release right back down. Good. Curl the toes and immediately send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take your time to open into your dog, walk it out, bend into your knees, send your breath into your Achilles, into your calves, into the back of the knees, your hamstrings, your glutes your low back, outer hips, shoulders, big breath, big exhale, one more inhale, exhale out, settle into your downward facing dog, press into your hands, send the hips just a little bit higher, bend into your knees if you have to, one breath in, one breath out, inhale, gaze forward, Exhale, step into the center of the space. Halfway lift, flat back, gaze forward. Exhale, breath deep, forward bend. Grab the back of the legs. Give yourself an upside down hug. Inhale, half lift, just like that two times. Exhale, deep, forward bend. Last one, half lift. Exhale, hold it here. Empty the entire breath for five, for four. Four, three, last two, one. Slowly release the back of the legs, bend the knees and take your time. Start to roll up. 
up, there's absolutely no rush. When you make it to the top, arms overhead, extended mountains pose. Exhale breath, bring the hands in through heart center, samasiti he. Hold here, close your eyes, root your feet into the earth, lift the kneecaps, engage through the core, soften the shoulders away from the ears. You always want to feel like you're creating space between the collarbones and your earlobes. Take a breath. And then exhale. If there is an intention that you would like to set for your practice, like I said earlier before today, I am celebrating the life of two beautiful women that I hold very, very special into my heart. So today I teach, I move, and I breathe for my loves, my family. Who do you breathe for today? Who do you move for today? And maybe that person today is you, and that is amazing, that is powerful. Feel the intention here. How do you want to feel at the end of these next 40 minutes? And then exhale, let it go. Inhale, both arms overhead, extended mountains pose. Exhale, bring the hands behind your head and interlace. We're going to take a big breath in, press the head into your hands. Exhale, breath, just rotate the torso to the right. Take a breath in, lengthen. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper, just from the rib cage. Both hip points stay facing the front of the space. Last breath in. Twist as you exhale, pull the belly in, come back into center. Exhale, twist to the left. Both hip points facing the front, navel is in, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, twist. Just one more. Exhale, twist. Both arms overhead, extended mountain. Exhale, breath forward, fold, surrender into the moment. Halfway lift, flat back, gaze forward. Exhale, breath, plant the palms, step or hop back, high plank. Take a breath in through the center line. Exhale, pull the elbows back, chaturanga, halfway there. Upward facing dog, press into your hands. When you're ready, tuck the toes, send the hips back. Downward facing dog. We only move through sun A. One time through. Get the fire going. Half lift. Gaze forward. Exhale breath. Step. Hop. Fly. Center of your space. Halfway lift. Flat back. Exhale. Deep forward bend. Give yourself an upside down hug. Exhale. Or inhale. Root and rise. Arms overhead. Extended mountain. Exhale breath. Release the hands onto the back of your head. Press the head into your palms. Inhale, breath. Exhale, rotate to the right. Just one time. Back to center. Exhale to the left. Come back. Exhale, forward fold. Let it go. Half lift, flat back. Exhale, move through your vinyasa. One tricep push up on the exhale. Press into the hands, upward facing dog. Exhale, send the hips back. Downward facing dog. We start strong. Inhale, lift your right leg towards the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, tiger. Nice and slow. Send it back. Knee to nose. Last time like that. Exhale, knee to nose. Hold it here for five. Four, four. Shift a little bit further forward. Three, two. Three-legged downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Settle for the exhale. Good. You're going to gaze forward. You're going to tend the fingers of your right hand. You're going to do a big, big circle with your right leg. If that's not possible, just step the foot forward. Take a deep inhale breath. Exhale, big, big circle, round your jump. Step the right foot on the outside of your right hand. Take a big breath in, gaze forward, flat back. Exhale, breath, drop your back knee, keep the toes tucked. Exhale, flex the front foot into your half splits. Inhale, progression, gaze forward, drop the hips, breathing to your left hip flexor. Exhale, press back. Let's say two more, half lift. Exhale. Last time. Exhale. Good. You're going to shift forward, bend back into your right knee. You're going to lift the back knee, that's your left. Plant the left hand underneath your left shoulder. And then open twist, a wide, wide open twist. Breath in. 
Exhale, really lean back. One more here. Exhale, lean back. Right hand behind your head. You're gonna take a breath in, press the head into the hand, open into the, into the thoracic spine. Exhale, breath, exhale, close it off. Inhale, lift the elbow high. Exhale, close it off. Two more, inhale, open. Exhale, close. See if you can add the gaze. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Good, release the right hand down onto the ground. Similar transition that we did on Thursday. You're gonna inhale, gaze forward. You're gonna exhale, turn out your right foot. We're gonna step into Malasana. Take a big breath in. Exhale, all the energy moves forward. Left foot steps in, drop the hips low. You're only here for 10. Nine, keep that chest open. Hands can be in your heart. Hands can be on the ground. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Soften the shoulders. For three, two, one. Let's take it up. Take a breath in. We come up in five. Full straight legs in four. All together for three, two, one. Release the hands by your side. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. You have the option to step your feet together or jump in. Take a big breath in, arms overhead. Exhale, settle into your chair. Not here for long, stay with me. Send the hips further back. Good, one last breath. Pull the belly in, exhale. Good, take a breath, lengthen the arms forward. Exhale, breath, right arm behind you and left arm back, you're opening to the right. Take a breath, exhale, open. One more, exhale. Don't drop the chair, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, open, twist towards the left, left arm back, right arm forward. Keep those inner thighs working towards each other. Belly in, lengthening the spine. Inhale, twist. Inhale, twist. Last time. Exhale, both arms overhead. Sit a little bit lower in that chair. Exhale, forward fold, let it go. Half lift, flat back, gaze forward. Exhale, step back. Chaturanga Vinyasa. Up dog when you're ready. Send those hips back, downward facing dog. One cleansing breath in through the nose, open mouth, ah, good. Left side, left leg high. Knee to nose, tiger, nice and slow. Send it back, knee to nose, tiger. Last one, exhale, you hold for five, four, three, Two, one, three-legged downward facing dog. Stay for the exhale breath. Gaze forward at your hands. Tent the finger pads of your left hand. Take a breath in. Exhale breath, big, big, big circle, big round of jump, stepping the left foot forward, nice and slow. Land in a big, wide, low lunge. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, breath, settle. <sighs> Drop the back knee, don't untuck the toes. Exhale, press back, half splits. Inhale, forward. Take it as slow or as fast as you have to. <sighs> that is both a blessing and a curse that we get to do this on our own, on our own timing, with our own breath. So make sure you're holding yourself accountable. Last shift forward, last shift back. Bend back into your left leg. Lift your right leg, excuse me, right knee. Plant the right hand underneath the right shoulder and lift the left arm high. Take a full breath in. Exhale, open, lean back. One more here. Exhale, lean back. Bring the left hand onto the back of your head. Press the head into the hand. Take a full breath in. Exhale, close off. Inhale, lift the elbow. 
Exhale, drop it. Good. Three more. Exhale. Two to go. Really lean back. Last one. Exhale, close it off. Release the left hand onto the ground. Externally rotate your left foot. Gaze forward. Take a full breath in. Everything moves forward. Step the right foot in. Drop into your Malasana squat. Amazing. Hold it here. Ten. Nine. How are you breathing? How's Ujjayi? How are you doing? Eight. Seven. Open your heart. Six, drop the hips lower. Five, soften the shoulders. Four, unclench your jaw. Give yourself a big old smile. Three, two, one. Take a breath in through the nose. We come up in five, four, three, two. Oh, let it shiver, let it quiver. Release the hands by the side. Take a full breath in. Exhale out. You have the option to hop or step in. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, chair pose. Only half as long. Take a breath in. Sit a little bit lower. One more like that. Sit a little bit lower. One breath in. Open, twist to the left. Inhale, open up. Back into center, arms overhead, sit a little lower. Exhale, open to the right, right arm back, left arm forward. Take a breath, sit a little lower. Come back into center, exhale, forward fold. Ha. Half lift, flat back. Exhale, breath, move through your vinyasa. Exhale, press back. Downward facing dog. Stay here. One breath in. One cleansing breath out. One more. Drop the knees down towards the ground. Knees together. Feet together. Active recovery. Toes stretch. Make sure you're including that pinky toe in there. I know that I grabbed my towel to wipe it off, but see if you can stay as still as possible. Palms face up to receive energy. Especially those of you who are dedicating this practice to someone, you know, need a little energy for yourself. So that is the intention of palms up, so that you have that energy to give, but also that little bit of extra for yourself. You're not here too much longer. Mind over matter. If you've been amazing about working out, or if this is your first time here, just think about the last time that you gave your feet some love. You know, outside of getting a massage or acupuncture. So this is just a little attention for your feet. You're almost there. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, and clench the jaw, soften the eyebrows, relax your cheekbones for five, four, and three, and two, let it go, be silly, be playful, untuck your toes and tap the tops of the feet, be kind if you have a neighbor downstairs, I do, sorry neighbors. And then when you're ready, curl the toes and send those hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take one breath to settle into your down dog, in through the nose and out through the nose. I'm going to inhale your right leg high, full breath in. As you exhale, right knee taps your right tricep, you're holding five. You're making contact, four, three, two, one, send it back, nice and slow. Exhale, over to the left, twist it out, five. Are you making contact, four? Press into your hands, three, two, one. Inhale, lift high. Knee to nose, tiger. You're holding, you're hovering, four, five, four, three, two, 
One, step the right foot in between your palms, low lunge. Take your time to get there. If you have to move your own foot, amazing. Take an inhale, half lift, gaze forward. Settle as you exhale. We're gonna shift all that energy forward. Single leg, halfway lift. Walk your hands forward. Exhale, breath, knee to nose, left knee comes in. Send it back. Knee to nose. Last one. Exhale, bring it in. Extend your left leg long. And when you're ready, you're gonna drop the entire body over into a full standing split. So you have variations. If you need to have a bent knee, amazing, I love it. If you need to be holding onto your knee a little bit more elevated with your torso, great, that's where you're at today. If you're feeling good, you're feeling confident, drop that head nice and heavy. You're gazing towards the back side of the mat. If you need a little bit more balance, right hand behind your calf, lift the left leg higher. We're not here long. You can switch the hands. You can put both hands behind the leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly bend into your right leg. Start to come up. Take your time. Single leg Tadasana. <sighs> both arms overhead. Take a breath in. Single leg Tada. Exhale. Really root the right foot into the earth, straightening through the right leg. Take a breath. Exhale out. Right hand on the outside of the left knee, and then open twist. Take your time. Focus. Commit. Take a breath in. Open twist. One more. Exhale, gaze back. Come back into center, full breath in. We've done this transition before. Bring the hands in through heart center. You're gonna send your left leg back nice and slow. Balancing warrior three. Extend the left leg. Take a breath. Exhale, you're gonna drive the left knee in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, drive it in. Last one, stay with it. Exhale, drive. Inhale, and then softly land into your high crescent warrior, Anjaneyasana, full breath in. Settle into the pose. Bring the hands behind your head, press the head into the hands, really open into the elbows, maybe even look up. Take a breath in, breath out. One more, stay with it. Exhale. Slowly release, both arms overhead. As you exhale, you're gonna open twist, right arm back, left arm forward. Keep scissoring those inner thighs, keep bending into your right knee. Take a breath, open up. Not leaning too far back or too far forward. Last inhale, open up. Good, slowly open up into your warrior two. Take your time. Heel to arch alignment, bending into your right knee, rooting the knife edge of your left foot down onto the ground. Shoulders, ribs, hips, all in one line. Pull the belly in, soften your rib cage, lengthen the tailbone. When you're ready, arms forward and back. Last breath. Exhale. We're gonna straighten both legs, or the front leg, reach the arms up. Exhale, bend. One more. Nice and slow, and bend. When you're ready, right forearm on top of the right knee, reaching the left arm long, bicep by the ear. Press into your forearm, don't sink the weight in. Take an inhale. Exhale. One more. Exhale. Good, take an inhale. Keep the bend into the front knee, dance the arms back. Like that, shift forward and back. Last one, forward and into your reverse warrior. Ha. Settle here, one inhale, one exhale. Last time, exhale. When you're 
ready. Windmill the arms down towards the ground. Plant them underneath the shoulders. You're in a low lunge on the right side. Lift your right leg high. Full breath in. Exhale, pigeon pose. Right knee by the right wrist. Right ankle by your left wrist. Square the hips as much as possible. If you have blocks or you know you need them, stay lifted. This is your variation today. This is great. If you're feeling a little bit more open, you can soften the forearms. Ah, open into that right outer hip. You can even keep settling the forearms down. Walk the chest all the way down. Stay with it. Stay strong. Stay connected to your intention, to your breath. You're not here too much longer. If you're on the forearms and you would like to bring the palms to face up, that is always an option. Remember that the hips, specifically the outer hips, tend to be a place where we store a lot of emotional trauma. So sometimes we think that the tightness is resistance, like physical resistance, your muscles are tight, your tendons, your ligaments, your connective tissue, when in reality, sometimes that sensation that we have is emotional distress. So see if you can guide the breath to release, to detoxify. You're here for two more. Last breath in. Last breath out. Slowly walk your hands back underneath the shoulders. Take one breath in Proud Pigeon. Exhale out. Good, I love this um, transition. You're just gonna knock off onto the right hip. You're gonna swivel your left leg forward. Good, your left knee is gonna be pointing up and you're actually gonna straighten into the right. So, left sole of the foot is pointing down towards the ground and you're extending through the right leg. You're gonna take the left arm behind you, reach the right arm long. Exhale, twist to the left. Flex your right foot, lengthen through the spine. Keep the left foot rooted into the ground. Last breath. Exhale. Let's take just a little counter twist. Left elbow on the inside of your left knee and just rotate to the right just for three, for two. Last one, good. Slowly unhook your left leg. You're gonna send it back. We're gonna retrograde. You're gonna plant the palms onto the ground. You should be into your pigeon stance. You're gonna swoop the right leg back and then downward facing dog. Immediately left side, left leg high. Exhale, left knee, left tricep, five. Make contact, four, three, two, one. Send the left leg back. Exhale, twist to the right. You're here for five. Get it up higher, four, three, two, one. Send it back, breath in. Knee and nose higher, four, five, four, three, two, one. Step the left foot between your hands, low lunge. Take your time, no rush. Bring that foot forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, settle into your low lunge. You're gonna shoot all the energy forward. Single leg halfway lift, right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Extend the right leg back. Knee to nose. Last time. Exhale. Good. Extend your right leg. And then surrender the upper body, the torso, over your left foot. Standing splits. Lift the right leg a little bit higher. You can be on the hands, hands on the knee. You can drop the torso, you can work on the balance. Left arm behind the calf, drop the head. 
five, four, three, two, one. Bend into your standing leg. That's the left leg. When you're ready, come up. Single leg Tadasana. Take your time to arrive. One breath in, one breath out. One inhale, one exhale. Left hand on the outside of the right knee. Open twist. Take a breath and an exhale. One more. Exhale, twist. Bring both arms overhead. Take a full breath in. Bring the hands in through heart center. You're going to come into your balancing warrior three. Start to send your right leg back and tilt the upper body forward. Take a breath in. Lengthen that right leg. Exhale, drive it in. Two more. Exhale, drive. Last one. Exhale, drive. Slowly land into your high crescent warrior. Adjust as you need to. Take a breath in. Release the hands behind your head. Press the head into the hands. Pull the elbows even wider. Look up. Settle as you exhale. Last breath in. Full breath out. Slowly, arms overhead. Take an inhale. Open twist to the left. Right arm forward, left arm back. Stay right at the center. Inhale. Twist open. Last one. Twist. Slowly open into your warrior two. Adjust. <sighs> Knife edge of the right foot rooting down. Gorgeous bend into the left leg. You're externally rotating. Shoulders, ribs, hips in one line. When you're ready, arms forward and back. Take an inhale. One more. Stay with it. Exhale. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Reach the arms up high. Exhale, settle. You have two of those. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. Good. Left forearm on top of the left knee. Reach the right arm long. Bicep by the ear. Press into the left forearm. Don't sink the weight in. Exhale. One more. Exhale. Stay for the inhale breath. Exhale, dance it back. Reverse the warrior. Shift forward. And back. Last time, forward. And then stay back. Reverse the warrior. Take a breath. Send the left arm further back. Last inhale. Exhale. Slowly dance your arms down towards the ground. Plant them underneath your shoulders. Square the hips. Send your left leg back. Three-legged downward facing dog. Exhale, pigeon on the left. Left ankle, right wrist, left knee, left wrist. Square the hips. The right knee is pointing down. The right hip is closed. <sighs> Take what you need here. Maybe today you're in proud pigeon. Maybe today you're in sleeping pigeon. That's amazing. Listen to your body. What kind of emotional trauma are you willing to release on this side? And maybe just notice, just notice, are you more open? Are you more closed? Do you feel more sensation? Do you feel more emotional on the left side? When you're ready, you can surrender the body forward. You have three more breaths. Last breath in. Stay with it, exhale. 
exhale. Hands start to come back up. Take one breath in Proud Pigeon. Inhale, open that chest, open your heart, open your throat. Exhale out. Slowly swivel your right leg forward. That means your left leg is going to be straight this time. The right knee is going to point up. The right foot's going to be on the outside of the left knee. I understand that that was a lot of cues, but you got it. Stay with it. Right arm behind you, left arm high. Inhale. Exhale, twist to the right. Hook the elbow on the outside of that right knee. Flex the left foot. Lengthen through the spine. Remember what I said about keeping that space between your earlobes and your collarbones? Very much applies here. See if you can bring the chin towards the right shoulder. Twist, twist, twist. Exhale, exhale, exhale. And slowly come back. Take a gentle counter twist. Right elbow on the inside of the right knee and twist. And slowly release. We're not going to press back into down dog. We're just going to extend that right leg forward. Hashimottanasana. Seated forward fold. If you have to have your knees bent like this, great. I love it. If you have blocks or a bolster or a pillow and would like to just put that underneath, I love it. Make this practice your own. Reach the arms high. Flex your feet. Exhale. Reach, 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 reach. Pass your feet. Pass your feet. And if you can't reach past your feet, then grab your feet. Eventually soften the entire body over the legs. <sighs> you take an inhale, halfway lift, look at your toes or past your toes. Bend the elbows wide, pull yourself closer down. Inhale, look up. Empty all the breath, surrender. Last time, breath in. You're going to hold at the bottom, surrender, let it go, flex those feet, keep the space between shoulders and ears. When you're ready, curl the chin in and start to roll up, take your time. You're going to scoot that seat all the way forward towards the front of the space. Just a little bit of core work to get us all the way home. Inner thighs together, knees pointing up. If you've been taking my classes since the beginning, we have been working on Indavasana almost every single class, so you should feel really comfortable. If this is your first time here, know that you can leave the soles of the feet on the ground. Grab the back of the legs. Reverse tabletop position with your legs. Take a breath in. Soften the shoulders, set them into place. Release the back of the legs. Take a breath in. Exhale, hover into low boat. Pull in. Exhale. Keep going. Remember, you can always have the hands on the ground. Inhale, pulls in. Exhale, presses out. We have five. Four. Last two, pull in and hover, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, belly in for 5, 4, 3, 2, release, ha, huh. sweet release, knees in towards the chest, give yourself a loving squeeze, let the breath go, ha, huh. extend the left leg long, leave the right knee in towards the chest, and slowly guide it across to the left side of the space. Adjust your hips if you have to. <sighs> Yogi's choice, anything in the upper body, arms long, arms bent, gaze neutral, or towards the right. Last breath in. Big exhale, <sighs> come back into center, nice and slow, square the hips, knees squeeze in, right leg long, left knee in, guide the knee across the body to the right side of the space, adjust the hips, 
arms straight, arms bent, gaze neutral or towards the left. Slowly come back into the center line. Bring those knees back in towards the chest. Lift the shoulder blades off the ground. Wrap both forearms around your shin bones, catching opposite elbows, tucking the chin in, holding all the energy you just cultivated for yourself for five, or that you cultivated for that one person that you love and appreciating today for four, three, two, See the lips, the nose, the forehead can tap the knees. And then Savasana, surrender into this moment. Ah, dead corpse pose. Try to stay here. Remember, I only give you like a 45 second to a one minute Savasana. So please, please, please stay. This is the moment when the body reaps the benefits of all of your hard work. I hope that you feel more open, ready to tackle whatever fun weekend plans you have. See if you can visualize that person that you sent your energy or in this practice to in your third eye center. Maybe that person is you. I love that. And you're very slowly going to reach the arms overhead into a full body stretch. Send the last breath into your belly, one breath into your ribs, your lungs, and then the last breath into your heart. And you're slowly going to guide the hands on top of your heart. You're going to end class lying down today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for your donations. Your presence means the world to me. I hope you have a fantastic day. I will see you on Tuesday. Go with ease and peace. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here. All my love to you.